Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to VTV. VTV has been produced for hotel e-commerce, marketing and sales professionals to provide insights, knowledge and learnings from industry experts on how to extract more value from a hotel's presence on you. Each week I will interview an industry expert on a single topic. We have discovered many of these topics from industry people like yourself and encourage you to let us know if there are any topics you would like us to cover on future episodes of VTV. You can email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com and make your suggestion in. Welcome to today's episode. Our topic today is merchant merchandising online. What is it and how do you go about it? Today I am joined by David Attardi. David is the Director of E-Commerce at VF Sol & Company. He manages all e-commerce activities for BF Sol's 18 hotel properties. David, thank you for joining us on VTV and welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Today's topic, merchandising online, what is it and how do I go about it? We seem to talk a lot about merchandising hotels online and we all pretty much have a good idea of uh, what merchandising is in the context of traditional bricks and mortar retailers. But what is merchandising online in the context of hotels? And um, how do you integrate that into your online uh, and or e-commerce strategies? That's a, uh, that's a big question. Um, in a lot of different ways, I think. And, and it's funny because um, we, we talk about search engine marketing and internet marketing and search engine optimization. and. Um, one of the things that I, I used to hear maybe a two, as recently as a year and a half ago is someone talking to an, an operator or an owner and talking about, you know, I, we do search engine optimization. All we can do is ensure that people find your hotel online. Um, you know, we can't control whether they book or not. And I think we've gotten to the point where that's just not good enough. And um, as, as marketers and, and as e-commerce people, and I know I look at it as my job, to make sure that people are finding our hotels online, but also people are booking our hotels online. And I think um, the, the, both of those things are what make up merchandising your hotel. Um, you know, th there's several, several facets of that. And I think every day you discover a new website that has hotel listings um, where your hotel has exposure. So, the, you know, I think managing the new content or what is disco the discovered content could be a full-time job in and of itself. But, you know, to, to me, merchandising is primarily about, um, you know, it, in an online context, at least, internet marketing. Um, people you know, that are online and on a number of different channels, whether they be search engines um, or, or they're searching um, websites of any brands that they may have an affinity with um, um, and, they're finding your website and they're finding your hotel. So merchandising is about making sure that it's in a place where they can find it, whether it be through search engine optimization or uh, good placement through relationships with, with, um, with different sites and different outlets. Um, and then telling your story and, and, and highlighting your property so that people are compelled and people are inspired to, to read about it, to click through, to look at your pictures, to watch your videos, and to ultimately um, and to ultimately spend money with you. Um, you know, we, at BF Salt Company, we, we do a lot of different things. We, we have uh, brand.com websites through all of our um, uh, franchise relationships, but we also have independent websites where each hotel has a separate website under a separate domain or URL that allows us to completely control the content of that site in a way that we can really market that hotel and compete on our street corner with with local other local hotels um, and, and really go after highlighting the demand generators right in our backyard. Um, we do that through content, um, keeping content fresh and rust, uh, robust and updated um, so that we can be search engine optimized. We do that with looking at um, our, our tagging, our title tagging of all of our independent websites make sure that we're saying the right things and we're saying what people are actually searching for. Um, and, um, you know, and also through partnerships with uh, other websites and linking partnerships and, and inbound links and we're measuring ourselves from an optimization perspective 
against uh, against the other hotels in our portfolio, but also against our uh, against our competitors. So there's there's a search engine optimization component that is a big factor of merchandising your hotel, but that's supplemented with email campaigns, um, which is supplemented with uh, you know your presence on on social web on social sites such as Facebook and your your Twitter activity and your um, media on Flickr and things like that. Um, I mean, there's there's several several ways to to merchandise your hotel. A couple things about those um, that I think are important is is regarding your email campaigns. I think we got to get out of a, a email blast mentality where it's about you know quantity over quality. Just send your emails so you can say how many you sent. That's not that's not going to cut it. Um, you know, I think it, it has to be picking your spots, being really smart about what you're sending out and who you're sending it to. S- thoroughly scrub your lists so that you have people that want to read about your hotel and then offer them something that has value. Um, and all of those things aren't independent. You know, they're all part of a coordinated merchandising plan so that regardless of where somebody finds content on your website or on your hotel online, it's relatively consistent. It may be tweaked to go after a particular piece of business or a particular market segment or offer or special, but it's very consistent with what they're finding on different channels. So all of those things are uh, um, you know, basically the, the merchandising of a hotel. It's not good enough just to be on the shelf. You gotta sell it. You know, you gotta you gotta make somebody click on it and inspire them to book your hotel. It's interesting. Uh, going back to your your initial point, uh, and it and it sounded like you had uh, two real buckets that that you focus on. The one being, uh, what type of marketing activities do you use to uh, assist the travel shopper in finding you? Right. And then the second part of it is is what type of marketing activities. Uh, do you focus on in order to move that travel shopper once they've found you closer to the booking process? And I'm interested in understanding from you what type of activities can a hotelier do to actually move the travel shopper from finding you to booking with you? That's a great question and and that's I think that's within the last year as important as the first thing that you discussed. I mean moving from optimization and being findable if you will, to being bookable uh, is, a, is a very important transition. For us, that means a lot of things. Um, granted that we're getting a lot of, you know, given that we're getting a lot of visits on our website and on our um, on online presences, uh, making each of those presents as robust and as thorough as possible, b- but with a focus on stickiness, if you will, um, keeping people on there, keeping people reading, keeping people hitting different pages, learning more about our hotel, but also always with an eye on bookability. How easy is it for them to spend money with us? And if, you know, if, if spending money or making a reservation is more than two clicks away, then we're missing the boat. Um, so we've actually internally had some recent shifts to make the, the booking experience much more streamlined for our users um, and much more intuitive for them. Um, so that you know, there's there's a booking date uh, a date rate search box or a booking widget on every page, so that someone, regardless of what they're reading that inspires them or what they're watching that inspires them, whenever they're inspired, whenever they're ready to book, we need to be there prepared for them to book, um, so they can pop in dates, run a search, find availability, and 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 spend money. Um, so, you know, I think making streamlining that booking process is extremely important for us, but also. Uh, using media and rich media to make the site stickier, uh, including you know still photography that highlights our great property, um, using uh, video that that gets people inspired and motivated um, about the area where they're coming to, but also about our hotel. You know, and it, it's funny because one of the things for us as business travelers or in in, in a market like D.C. or South Florida, our hotels are fantastic. I, I think I think they're great. But one of the things that we got to get our arms around or our brain around is the fact that people aren't coming to stay at our hotels. They're coming to visit the area or they're coming to do business in the area. And we just, we are trying to capture room nights. So, you know, we need to have an equal or a a smart focus about what we're highlighting in the hotel and why they should stay there, but also 
why that hotel is great for what they're coming to do, which is go to the beach or go to the monuments or to do business in Tyson Corner, Virginia or whatever. Um, and we can really do that with uh, rich media such as, such as video. It's interesting. Um, uh, I've seen a number of, of research reports that indicate the number of sites people visit prior to actually making a booking decision. And depending on which report uh, you read, uh, the, the travel planning process can, can include anywhere between four and 12 uh, different uh, websites that people visit prior to. How do you continue the influence of, of, uh, of inspiring that travel shopper on your hotel uh, when they're moving from site to site uh, and you can't keep them on one single site? Right, it's a great question. I will say first, I think the more, and I use this word sticky because, just, because I heard it, I like it. I, I think the, the stickier we can make our web presences so that they're spending more time on there and they're more engaged, the less likely they are to go somewhere else. Um, and the, you know, that number between four and 12 doesn't surprise me at all. If we can get that, the smaller that number is, in my opinion, the better. But granted that online shoppers are gonna online shop and they're gonna do their thing, we need to ensure that wherever they go, however they hop around, whatever their path is, we need to, we need to be there. Um, and we do that through going back to you know, what we've discussed earlier about being findable so that you know, when they go from uh, a Google search which leads them to Mirac.com to comparing that with TripAdvisor or to comparing that with how the, the hotel looks and the rates on Expedia.com, we need to be there as well. Um, and not only do we need to be there, we need to be there in the same consistent high quality way that we are when they're on our website and that's through um, making sure that our content is, is updated and it's fresh and it's accurate, making sure that we have uh, a robust set of uh, photos, of photography and, uh, and video. Um, and you know, we, we do that in a lot of ways actually, John, with, with VFM. Um, just through the distribution network that you guys have, uh, that VFM has, allows us to, to put our stuff, to put our rich media in those places where people are going to go anyway. Um, you know, if, if we can have, if someone's going to 10 websites, you know, in an ideal world, we'll have our content on all 10 of them. Um, whether they're finding it or not, I don't know, but if they do, you know, the, the, more, the more they see and recognize our hotels and our brands, and the more consistent it is, but consistent in a high quality way, the better for us. Right, so it sounds like one of the tenets of success to merchandising is the consistency of the uh, the story and the inspiration that you provide to travel shoppers regardless of where they happen to see you online. Absolutely. David, thank you very much for joining us again on VTV. We always enjoy having you here. Thank you. Uh, and to all the viewers out there, be sure to visit vtv.vfmleonardo.com and post your comments. Tune in next week for more from another industry expert.